important message to all pet lovers out there. Whether you have a dog, a cat, a ferret, a snake, or a pet of any kind, this message is for you. As you may or may not know, there are a lot of so-called animal rights groups out there working to limit the specialty pet trade by enacting widespread bans on pets that we love and care for. Now, I do fully support regulations for proper care and husbandry for our pets, as long as they have been established in collaboration with specialty pet experts and responsible keepers. But history has shown us that bans like the ones that are being proposed right now don't work. For organizations that claim to care about animal welfare, none of their proposed bylaws for specialty pets address issues such as neglect or animal abuse or the need for public education. The reality is that the pet bans only serve to further the agenda of many of these groups, which is to eliminate all interactions between humans and animals. And this can include having no pets of any kind, even dogs and cats eventually, no zoos or animal education centers, no livestock, no animal rescue, or even conservation efforts that involve direct contact with animals. Thankfully, there are groups out there like CanHerp in Canada and USARC in the United States that are working hard to protect our rights so that we can continue to enjoy and properly take care of our pets. And they need your help today. The city of Winnipeg is currently proposing new bans on many species of reptiles, birds, fish, and small mammals. The city of Winnipeg is poised to become a non-pet or non-specialty pet municipality, and we can't let that happen. Furthermore, the proposal would decimate the economics of Winnipeg's pet industry, resulting in jobs being lost not only in the pet sector, but also within the veterinary industry that supports families in Winnipeg ensuring the greatest care is available for their pets. The City of Winnipeg is accepting emails for consideration on this matter until Tuesday, September 7th. So you need to do stuff right now. And here's how you can help. Please take five minutes, like I said, right now, and go to winnipegspecialtypets.ca. There will also be links below. Once you complete the form, an email is generated and sent to the Winnipeg counselors, mayor, CAO, and animal services accounts. If you have a pet, this affects you. Even if you don't live in Winnipeg, this still affects you. Bands that successfully pass build momentum spread to other communities, and it might be your hometown next that will prohibit you from keeping your pet snake, turtle, hamster, rabbit, bird, or fish. So please share this message with your friends and family. Emails from across Canada and the US and even around the world send a powerful unified message about the strength and the solidarity of our pet community. If you have any friends or family in Winnipeg, please make sure that you share this with them in particular. Local voices will also resonate very strongly with the local politicians in Winnipeg. Thank you so much for watching, and please, please share this important message, and remember to nurture all nature. Bye!